And we are coming to you live from our local goodwill. We have an excursion coming up this weekend, clam shelling. So we had to get some gear, um, which included a shovel and a bucket. So it may look like we're doing some inconspicuous activities, but really, we're just shelling on the beach. Clamming. Clamming on the beach. And we looked at our analytics this weekend, and 50% of you are not subscribed. So you better go down hit that subscribe button right now because what's the point of watching if you're not subscribed? And give us a like while you're at it. So this is going to be our cooler for when we go clamming. That'll, we'll put so the, the clams in there. And then this is a brand new shovel. Mm -hmm. Clam. Clam in the cooler. Eat it up. <laughs> so step one of our Goodwill stop. We got our supplies and we're ready to go. acquired. We're ready to go clamming. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> We're gonna order some food and we're gonna go pick it up. And on our way, we have two spots we wanna hit. Ideally, we wanna hit the Murhut Falls and the Rocky Brook Falls. After that, we're gonna hit the low tide. So Sarah looked up the tide pools and it's 11 feet right now? It's 11 feet, yes. 11 feet high. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go at 3 p.m. when it's gonna be a little closer to like two. Two, yep. Yeah, like two feet high. So we're gonna yeah. be able to kind of dig in there um, and hopefully find some clams. So we had probably like 50 miles worth of this like beautiful scenery last night, but it was pitch dark and it was like 7.30 at night. So we couldn't see any of it, but right now driving through it, I'm like, oh, this is heaven. Bag secured. secured. First, we got the Benedict. Country Benedict. Woo! Look at all that gravy. So, those are the local Hama Ooh. Hama oysters. That smells good. It does. With some over easy eggs, hash browns, with some looks like bacon, peppers, cheese, oysters. It's delicious. Yummy, yummy. We're gonna dig in and then we gotta head. It's about 40 minutes to the falls. Yeah. Sarah's Country Benedict, first bite. Mmm. That sausage in there. Oh, there's sausage? Oh, yeah, there's sausage mm -hmm. in there. Mmm. 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 Really yummy. Oysters. Mm hmm. Um, let's get some. Pretty standard bacon, peppers, cheese, mm -hmm. and hash. Um, could use some hot sauce. Oh, okay. I need to make my own hot sauce or something. Yeah. More importantly, how's the country? <laughs> mm. Already stealing some of mine. Here's some of Sarah's country uh, Benedict. Mm. Can't really go wrong with gravy. No, so. never. Could use some hot sauce. <laughs> awesome, we're gonna dig in and digest. Yes. Just finished our breakfast. Now we are en route to Murhut Falls for our first waterfall of the day. So let's go.
Why does she look like a like a grandma? <laughs> I started. <laughs> Hopefully you're fine. He likes to be leading the way and he wants to walk on his own pause. But it's a long one. We're at the 0 .2 mile mark and Sarah's pretty exhausted. Point three of a mile in. <laughs> Who's what? Who's tracking how far we are? I'm marking it. I don't know if it's accurate. Point three of a mile, and Poop was already on his own feet. <laughs> because we got out of it. It's not, it's not me. <laughs> Poop and I like to run, anyways. So there's some water down there, some more water down there, but here's the big one. So the first route we went up was this way to the left and that took us all the way to the top but now we want to go down and it's going to take us closer to the bottom of the falls uh so let's go be careful so we're on our way back down from the trail the waterfall was gorgeous and we got some crisp, clean, fresh air in our noses. <laughs> and so we're gonna try to find the second one. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the clean air and the hike definitely is making us a little drowsy and tired. <laughs> but look, forest of trees. So pretty. Steven's over here like silent and he is never silent. So I'm like, what is up? But fresh air makes you tired, man. Nine miles, turn left onto Dosi Wallets Road. Private property. Warning. Danger. <laughs> Private property. So we're gonna say this one's a no. Uh, one we already found is good enough for me. So online it shows like a bunch of photos and people have gone through here but it does look like there's like a private facility here and a bunch of signs warning us not to go so uh we we might just skip this one 
Okay, so with us backing out of that last waterfall, we're gonna head to two different spots to go try to find some clams today. Oh, little Corvette bros. Uh, there is the Ducka Bush Beach Park, somewhere like that, and then there's like a Lillawop or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna hit the, the Ducka Bush place first, and then we're gonna go to the Lillawop, and hopefully we find some clams. Fingers crossed. Okay, Sarah's gonna throw on her little booties. Hopefully that'll keep her foot dry. Here's what I'm rocking. Ooh, the classics. And we got our shovel. And in here, I'm not gonna open it because I only have one hand. We have some salt water, some sea salt water. And so there's a path this way and then there's another path this way that'll take us to the duck bush So hopefully the tide's down low enough where I can dig in there and get something. Otherwise, we have another stop coming in in a few hours. So I think we'll spend like maybe an hour here if we don't find anything. Uh, we'll have to travel to the other one, take a little break, and then the hunt's back. Someone's in trouble. Go. Clamming, 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 going, clamming, 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 going. Woo, woo, get that clam. All right, so we just crossed the bridge and now we're thinking if we take this path out to the water, should it be pretty promising. And yes, he's still crying back there. No, I don't know why. Because, oh my God. Oh, there's some. Yeah. Little ones. They have oh, there's be, one. Yeah. yeah. They have to be over an inch. Oh, okay. So that's too small. Uh, these ones might be too small, but we know they're here. So we'll keep so looking. So we'll keep looking. All right, let's go that way. Okay. That way we go. Well, Found one. It's a clam. It is a clam. We just don't know whether it's alive or dead. Oh, it's spitting out some water. So alive? So I believe this one is alive. Woo, our first one. Our first that was clam. really quick. Okay. And we'll just wash them up and put them in our bucket. Yeah. Woohoo, one clam down. We are eating dinner tonight. <laughs> Steven, dimples, lots of dimples. Oh my gosh, look at all those dimples. Oh, these could be the bear. You see them? Yeah. Okay, try to dig for those. And I, this is Sarah Nat Geo style, okay? I see a bald eagle right there. You guys see it with the white head? It's, oh, it's definitely a bald eagle, but I got poop on my back here. So he's for sure gonna scare it away, but I just wanna get up a little bit closer. Oh no, it's looking like it's gonna fly. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. And that is nature, baby. That is nature. Look at that fly away. America. Was that a bald eagle? I think so. I'm pretty sure. Almost positive. Don't quote me though. Found a decent size one. That's definitely big enough. Oh yeah, that's definitely this big enough. This one's too small. So once we're done with this one, we just gotta make sure we cover them back up. Yes. And return it as we did. We're not going to leave a bunch of uh, holes. Yeah, because we want the clams to grow and we want the ecosystem to continue. Correct. Quick video. So Stephen found this new spot. Uh, it's a little bit further from the water, but I noticed all these dimples here, which they said to look out for. So we've just been digging here for a little while and he's gotten all these. They're a little bit bigger than the first ones we got. So, oh yeah. my gosh. So we're gonna wash them off. Let's go yeah, wash them off. Yeah, we'll wash them off and um, put them in our pot.
They were like spitting water at us. Look at those. Oh my gosh. If I lived here, all I would eat would be clams because it's free. Let's go put these in the bucket. Put them in the pot. Good job, Steven. Clap. So Steven just found an oyster. Oh my God. Pretty big one. Oh my God. Hello. That's crazy. Yeah, we're not going to keep it though because you have to shuck it and leave the shells out oh, here on the yeah. beach. And I don't have an oyster shucker and yeah. I wasn't really going to, really was it aiming to eat one of these, but it was cool to see. Super cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good boy. Breathe. <laughs> Breathe. Okay, here's what we're doing. So that's gonna be some pesto. We got some garlic and about like three tablespoons of butter. We're gonna do some linguine and the pasta with the clams. So I, I had the pasta already. I tried the pasta before I put the okay. clams in and it was fine. Okay, yeah, I can't go wrong with pasta. It was buttery. Mm -hmm. So the seasoning on it. Mm. Pasta is good. Let's try a clam. Have you tried one? I did. And? I'll let you try first. Um, oh, they're sweet. Are they sweet? I think they're kind of sweet. It's not salty at all. I mean, sandy at all. You didn't get any grit? No. All right, first one I had was actually full of grit. Oh, really? Even though I actually like ripped up like the sand sacks. Oh, no, I didn't get any sand in that No one. sand? They do taste like the sea. Mm. What do you think? I don't think they're pretty sweet. Yeah, I haven't gotten any sand. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, good job. That wraps up this trip. Yeah. We're headed out in the morning. Mm -hmm. Successfully made a dish with freshly caught clams. So cheers to yeah. you. You did all that. I don't think I would sell it at a restaurant, but hey. Hey, it, it fed so us enough. tonight. So yeah. we're good. All right. But definitely an interesting trip. Got a little bit out of the city. And we will see you in our next adventure. Comment down below what you want to see us do next. Oh, just got some sand. <laughs> and be sure to like and subscribe because that helps us out a lot. And we hope you enjoy. Yep. See you in the next one. See ya.